What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can resolve an issue with our Windows update and that it just shows a bl blank screen here and uh, it's not loading up anything here and this is uh, a common problem so you can see here we've got the little blue dots up the top going across it's trying to populate a window and look for a Windows update and there is no action here whatsoever and this will just run and run it's like a, a continuous loop and uh, the window is blank here as you can see and I'll leave this for a bit longer so you can see here and this is quite a common problem so what we're going to do here is we're going to reset the Windows update components to try and resolve this issue and this is probably the best method uh, to uh, resolve an issue like this where the Windows update window doesn't populate and you can't update Windows and no matter whether I shut this off and we upload again and see what happens you'll see it will do the same thing so let's go about try and fix this uh, issue today and uh, we'll move on to the next step now what we can do is use something like this from uh, Ryan Nemeth and uh, basically it's reset dash windows update dot ps1 now obviously you have to run this at your own risk there will be a terms and conditions when you click on this and uh, but it gives you all the information here of what it's actually going to do you can do this manually uh, but it's really time consuming and you will have to type in a lot of commands you see me do those videos before where you can stop a service and you just run these through this script will do it all for you and basically run through a bunch of uh, things that you normally have to do to try and resolve this issue and you can see here it's also going to re-register all the DLLs um, right here it's going to do all these ones which are related to the Windows Update uh, client and go through here and reset your Winsock and your proxy and so on so let's give it a go I've got it downloaded and we're going to run it on this machine so what we're going to do here now we've got our file I've put it into a folder on my desktop here and from here to run this we're going to run this as administrator uh, privileges now you won't be able to right click and just run it from here because this won't give you the administrator privileges that you need so what you're going to need to do here is you're going to need to uh, run this uh, via the top left hand side here so click on file open Windows PowerShell and you can see here open Windows PowerShell as administrator say so yes and then from here so now we've got this open what we need to do here is type a command here we've got this in the directory uh, where we've opened up PowerShell we need to type in the set dash execute policy uh, unrestricted and this will allow us to run the command now we need to type a to say yes to all and this will agree to that and now we need to type in the dot forward slash reset dash windows update dot ps1 this is the actual file we downloaded just be patient and let that run and when that's completed you need to type set dash execution policy space default and there we go now if you want to edit it you can edit the file you can either add stuff in or you can remove stuff that you don't want it to do but normally uh, what you see inside here will reset the Windows update component uh, which is what you need and this can resolve a lot of problems so let's see if it has resolved our problem so we're going to go down to the start button then we're going to hit uh, settings here and then we're going to go into here and click update and security now you will need to restart your computer before you do any of this and hopefully when you restart the computer you should see uh, the updates coming down and it should have resolved that problem for you and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can resolve the Windows update problem where it's just not um, loading or it's blank or you're having other issues with it this is another way that you can go ahead and try to resolve uh, the problem with the Windows updates component now it's always a good idea to back up your data before you run any fixes on your computer and also you might want to create a restore point before you start Anyway, I've also got some merchandise set up on my website. So if you're interested in that, it's on the YouTube channel. You'll be able to get sweaters, hoodies, and all sorts of uh, other things like T-shirts, mugs, stickers, uh, leggings, 
t women's t-shirts you name it it's all up there uh, there's a couple of designs there one that goes right across the front and also one that goes to the right hand side of the t-shirt and there's also beach towels and other stuff on there and uh, if you're interested in that stuff i will leave the information in the video description anyway that's about it for this video my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great day and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.